Hello and good evening everybody for this special edition of TDOC Talks. We're at the East Region Conference and we've got a lot going on, but for these two officers who are joining me, they're doing double duty. They're here taking advantage of the conference, but they're also PSU officers and it's October, so you know that they are getting ready for our annual blackout event where we canvass our communities throughout the state to ensure that trick-or-treaters and families are safe during the Halloween season. So I'm just gonna go ahead and introduce Probation Parole Officer 3, Daryl Smith. Tell us what is blackout and why does TDOC engage in this uh, annual event? Yes, sir. Uh, Operation Blackout is an operation that the PSU unit puts on once a year. And uh, it's for uh, all the registered sex offenders that uh, we supervise. And they're, they're all on a uh, 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. curfew starting October 21st and going to November 1st. And what we do is we go out and we conduct uh, home visits and resident searches on every sex offender that we supervise. And, you know, we're just looking for uh, things that would be a violation of their conditions of supervision. Uh, that could be kids, that could be drugs, alcohol, weapons, uh, internet pornography, just anything like that. And we're, we're making sure that they're not doing anything during that time frame that would put uh, somebody in danger. So that's what Blackout is about. Officer Caldwell, tell us a little bit about what you're looking for when you and your teams go out and conduct these home visits and compliance checks on offenders. What specifically are you keeping an eye out? What do you want to see? What do you not want to see? Uh, basically what we're looking for is any kind of fall decorations, anything that would uh, represent uh, the, the, uh, the season, the Halloween season. We're looking for you know, if they got costumes, uh, they got costumes hanging in the window, they got candy, it looks like they're going to give out for uh, trick-or-treaters. Uh, anything at the fall makes it a fall festival uh, type scene. We want to make sure that it's not there because those are the things that attracts uh, young children. And that's basically what we're there for is to make sure that the Halloween season is safe for our kids to go out and trick-or-treat. And then the parents are reassured that we're keeping a, a close eye on all the sex offenders that are registered and supervised by our uh, community supervision. So absolutely no decorations whatsoever. They can't have even so much as a jack-o'-lantern or a fall wreath, correct? No, not even a bale of hay out in the yard. So if you come up to a home and you see any of these decorations or you get inside the house and again, you spot candy that you feel suspicious is going to be used uh, on Halloween night, how are you guys gonna handle that? What happens next? Well, immediately we're gonna re we're gonna remove or have them remove any of the decorations, any of the candy, the uh, prohibited items um, from that house, uh, apartment, whatever they're at. Uh, then possibly there could be sanctions uh, and leading up to warrants later on. Officer Smith, we were just talking about how you guys are kind of pulling double duty because you're here at the conference working on all the leadership uh, presentations here and taking that in. But like I said, you guys are getting started with blackout. Blackout doesn't just happen on Halloween night, correct? Yes, sir. Can you tell us about the pre-checks and kind of how things are starting right now as we speak? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, starting October 21st at 6 o'clock p.m., that's going to be the first shift where we actually go out and uh, search these houses. So it's not something that, that's just being done on Halloween night. We're going to be doing it for about 10 days. And, uh, you know, and that's mainly just to ensure the safety of the public. Absolutely. Is there anything else that either of you guys want to let the public know to kind of be on the lookout for things that they can do so they remain vigilant, just that extra step to ensure that they and their families are safe come Halloween night and throughout the Halloween season as they go to, to fall festivals and, and whatnot? Um, I mean, if they know of a registered sex offender, one that's either on supervision or not, and they know that they're dressing up for Halloween, they're throwing a party, they're making their house attractive to young children, to notify local, uh, local police or to contact us at the community supervision so we can go out and actually check on that residence and ensure that that's not happening. Yes, sir. And I'll just add, just to uh, be aware, uh, if you see something that might look suspicious, um, you know, call local police or call somebody and report it. Um, that's pretty much about it. Absolutely. Is there anything else that you guys want to add just about uh, your unit and how you work to enhance public safety, especially going into blackout or, or just kind of the, the pride that you guys take in knowing that 
that families throughout Tennessee can take advantage of this fun holiday season knowing that there's that layer of safety for them that you provide? Yes, sir. Uh, well, we, we both super fought se uh, sex offenders um, year round, so it's not just this uh, blackout. We, uh, we're familiar with these offenders. Um, and this is a PSU operation, uh, so it's just we, we take pride in making sure that they're following their standards of supervision, and um, kind of going back to the sanctions and violations. You know, if we if we find something, we'll we'll sanction them for it. Uh, if it's something more severe, it'll definitely be a violation. And uh, everything that we do is just to um, to look out for the public and to keep the public safe. Absolutely. I appreciate you guys taking a minute to be with me. Like I said, I know you're busy, you're multitasking, you got a lot going on. So I appreciate you taking the time uh, to talk to me about it, talk with the public about what you guys are doing. And of course, more than anything, thank you guys for the work that you do um, coming up into Blackout and of course all throughout the year being a, a part of the PSU unit. We want to thank you guys for watching. We really, really appreciate it. We hope that you're going to be safe uh, during the Halloween season and that this was able to help you kind of prepare to make sure that your family is safe while you're out this Halloween season and you're at fall festivals or you're at trunk or treats. And if you see one of our PSU officers, please don't hesitate to go up to them, approach them and thank them because they're out working hard all throughout this month and especially those last couple of weeks in October and of course all throughout the year to ensure that we're enhancing public safety all throughout the state. We appreciate you watching. As always, for more information on Blackout or TDOC as a whole, stay tuned right here on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and of course our website, tn.gov correction.